is an important topic. We thought when the, the Soviet Union collapsed that the free markets reign supreme, and therefore free markets self-regulate, and they, we don't need regulation. Mm -hmm. But we realized early on, especially 2011, 2008, 2013 cycles, that the markets need to be regulated. And actually there is an increasing realization that there are more and more demands on the state, like healthcare, managing the knowledge society, managing the financial system. So the issue of regulation is becoming increasingly important. And the important question we are going to ask today is who is regulating the regulators? And what is the purpose of regulating the regulator? What are the goals of regulating the regulator? We have, we have only two responsible departments uh, for uh, issues related uh, to supervision. Uh, we have, of course, the events of 2013. Uh, uh, we have the turmoil in the markets, on, on the solar on the, on the in markets uh, in 2011 and 2012. Uh, and then I remember uh, I was uh, head of HR with the central bank brought in the uh, well known German firm, uh, Roland Becker, and uh, we came up uh, with uh, some very important changes. So, uh, the same resolution mechanism consists of the same resolution board, which is the organization like the SSM, which uh, discusses with banks their resolution plans because the new idea of the currencies is that the banks have to prepare the commercial banks have to prepare they have to supervise banks they have to prepare resolution plans to make sure that they know in case they cannot continue functioning anymore what will happen so they have to prepare these resolution plans together with the with the SRD and of course if you have to resolve the bank, what do you need? You need money. I mean, somebody has to pay, either the depositors or the, uh, uh, the bondholders of the bank. Uh, and uh, so, because you need money to be credible, but you can perform a resolution without affecting the taxpayer, what do you do? Give us your thoughts about with respect, respect to climate change, uh, you know, climate change affects uh, affects banks, affects the risk of banks anyway, because the banks uh, have lent money for uh, 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 you know uh, corporations, to corporations, to uh, people, for houses, etc. So, in a sense, climate change will affect. Uh, uh, the way these people can uh, pay back their loans if they are affected by the climate change, the way we see it you know, happening at this uh, scale. So, uh, as it increases, as climate change increases the risk, on top of the moral issues about climate change and next generation, etc., it's also practical because uh, it affects the risk of banks. So, the banks have to take it into account. Uh, and then, of course, you can always. Uh, provide uh, a good example by saying that, uh, well, um, you invest only in green bonds, in green investments, so invest investments which take care of uh, ESG. Uh, but is this part of the mandate of the central bank? I mean, you, you get the regulars, the standard answer that climate change affects financial stability. 